Hi Scorpio, welcome to your first half of February reading. Um, this is a general reading, so whatever doesn't resonate, um, leave it behind. Uh, and if this particular reading doesn't resonate, check your sun, moon, and rising, and or Venus. Um, all the decks that I'm using in this reading um, are listed in the description box below. If you'd like to check them out, maybe purchase yourself a copy. Um, if you'd like to leave a donation, that information is also down there, as well as the link to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me if you'd like further clarity or something a little more personal. Um, anyways, chef's kiss. <laughs> let's get into it. Um, so let's see what we've got to start with. Slippery cards. Maybe some situation in which... Things seem elusive, or maybe you yourself are being elusive. We'll, we'll see. We have this Three of Cups here. Maybe there is some type of connection. <sighs> some type of connection that mm, maybe you're waiting on the right conditions or something for it to happen. Um, maybe you know there's something in it for you, but probably you're avoiding it. Maybe there's some type of um connection that you're avoiding let's see because it would be that it would mean the death of something it would then mean having to um get to know or it, it'd be some type of intimacy that would take place and we have this king of wands so it could be um with a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius and there's someone who's who's very courageous um, this is, yeah, King of Wands, someone who's very courageous, someone who takes action, um, someone who doesn't really take things lightly. They have a, 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 seriousness, a seriousness, a resoluteness to them. They're very passionate, um, you know, and uh, but also also warm yet cool. It's like this really beautiful balance. And um, sometimes you, can, you can't tell whether or not... Um, they have the space for you, maybe, and or this could be you, and and how someone views you, perhaps, and um, there's a lot of things that. Yeah, there's a lot of potential in their mind. They have a lot of wonderful ideas, but um, perhaps have trouble allowing them to, to hatch or you know come into fruition. Maybe they're waiting for the right time. Perhaps there's some type of. Um, feeling in, in, intimidated or needing to find the essence of whatever the action that is being called for here. Maybe um, they're, they're, they're needing to be invited in. Maybe you're someone that needs to be invited in to some space, um, then into a place of, of, of acting from passion as opposed to, to being more and more calculated, uh, more logical. Um, there's there's some type of movement or action needed here. Um, there's some type of uh, movement or action that is that is willing that is that that is there. There's the potential, but um, it's just not being acted upon. There's some type of disconnect. Um, um, perhaps waiting for the right season, waiting to get something first in order to feel okay enough to enter that space, right? And you have the seven of cups. It's like there's got to be a certain amount of investment there in order to fully open up to, to whatever it is. Um, it's like there's more work that needs to be done in, in clearing a space out or clearing the air or bringing a sense of clarity. Um, and it's like it, it needs to be felt in the physical. It needs to be something that's tangible and can be held and counted and accounted for um, because there's maybe some some type of lack of trust in, to some degree um, and almost needing some type of collateral. And we have the Four of Swords, but right now there's maybe some type of break. There's some types of uh, emotions that need to be kind of um, aired out, perhaps, in order for there to be a fresh start. Um, maybe there's trouble kind of moving into that headspace, and so it's causing a lot of unrest, maybe, um, needing to move through some emotions first that are, have maybe been avoided for some time. Maybe there's been some type of isolation that's been taking place that isn't really helping the situation anymore, is actually, actually creating more of this need um, to put things to rest. Um, instead of creating more of uh, this emotional turmoil because it could eventually lead to conflict. Um, 
if not acted upon, if there's no space invited. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of focus on the material because we have another um, Pentacles card. We have the Nine of Pentacles, and perhaps either you or this other person is very used to being blinded by, um, by the material and not willing to see much beyond it. Um, because maybe either you or this other person is really rooted in, okay, how does this benefit me? How does this benefit me? Um, it's like wanting to protect their energy, but at the same time kind of getting all dried up when it comes down to it. Um, almost moving horizontally instead of vertically. Um, and not able to see a new perspective, just trying to kind of take over a lot of territory without necessarily um, creating space to build things up. It's like wanting to cover a lot of ground without really reaching a place of fullness. Yeah, and then we have this Eight of Cups, and there's a need, because <laughs> there's fullness. See, there's the full moon. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I think that's absolutely hilarious. Um, because it's like, there's some, it's like wanting to be practical, but sometimes it's like you got to be impractical first in order to understand the practical kids play in order to process, right? And we don't play enough, and so we move in very impractical, illogical ways because we have no idea of how to process things. We hold on to things and we kind of hoard them, right? And so, like, Perhaps there was a situation where walking away wasn't the answer and it's um, created maybe some disappointment, seeing things the wrong way, um, misalignment in perspective and um, maybe someone feeling really alone or, or not, um, yeah, someone feeling kind of alone, a loner, needing to go off on their own, um, not feeling like they're in the right space. Yeah, and then we have the Seven of Swords, um, feeling like there was some type of, um, like this was supposed to happen, and it seems really unfair, um, but being able to handle it to some degree. Uh, perhaps like someone someone may see kind of where someone else is, is attempting to be clever to mask something, to hide away or steal away with something. But, you know, they're, they're holding on to what they can. They're holding on to what they can. And uh, they've got a decision to make. And the way that things move forward is really going to figure out which way the winds blow, which way, um, what, they, what they think of you or what you think of them. Um, but it's going to cause some type of shift in how, um, you know, you each perceive one another. Um, especially as, as, as long as the withholding continues, you know, you're going to be choosing your camp and then theirs. Um, yeah, and then we have the Eight of Swords because there's some something, some type of narrative or something that's being attached to. Someone feels very restricted. Someone's holding on to something, and being really guarded and a not and not allowing anyone, um, even themselves, a space of sanctuary. Um, feeling really bound to. Um, how they perceive themselves and how they protect themselves and believing that that protection is is them right it's like sometimes our ego it gets so big it's like we don't even begin we don't know ourselves because we've relied on it too heavily we have the four of swords with the three of cups four of swords again so there is something that is keeping someone from opening up and so they think that this is all it is there is this concept of self there is this ego that has so someone so far removed from who they are that they cannot show up fully in the situation and i feel like this might be you this might be you and it's like there's a transformation necessary if you do not change everything will consistently change around you and you'll have to consistently adapt and you'll consistently remain guarded um, we have this Knight of Pentacles with the King of Wands. And so it's like being really kind of like all about the money here, all about the money, um, like not not looking to move forward in any type of passion. It's like, no, I I am only worth what I earn. And I, and I only see myself in regards to what, you know, maybe identifying too much with money or resources or, you know, 
the material again it's like what if all that was stripped away um what what would be left then and it's like identifying too much and being protected by it by something that really holds no value when it comes to eternity right and so then we have the seven of pentacles we have the knight of swords and um it's just like i feel like you know battling on on how to, how to invest you know what to what to give into really feeling kind of conflicted and i feel like this is on both sides both sides being conflicted even you it's like how much should i invest in this and it's like you know where's you know where's your head at where's your head at and is it is it is it rooted in the rest of you or are you acting impulsively you know there's some something to be said here we have the three of swords with the four of swords so it's like you know where did this hurt come from and why have you ceased to um resolve it or put it to rest um it's like constantly needing to separate oneself in order to like um honor or justify something that was done to them or leaning into excuses you know, leaning into excuses in order to put things to to put things to rest, to avoid conflict, conflict that needs to happen, conflict that might not even be that bad. It would lead to clarity. You know, avoiding clarity. Here we have the world and the nine of pentacles. The world reversed and the nine of pentacles. It's like someone is really avoiding something, remaining blind to something by trying to cover too much ground instead of truly rising up and allowing things to build. Um, you know, it's just like avoiding some type of rebirth, sometimes something, avoiding something beautiful that could be created here, something that really casts out the shadows. And we have the, um, eight of cups, the nine of cups. And so it's like, you know, just trying to just go for something without fully being there. Um, maybe you've lost the chance to offer someone something um, because maybe they realized what they what they needed and that they weren't going to receive that from you so they were going to move away in some form or fashion this was something that was maybe fated to end in some, to some degree and here we have the seven of wands with the three of cups reversed and so there's you know a lack of harmony there's no way to really come together um, as long as either side knows that something's being held back um, that's why you gotta that's why you gotta show up fully it's either now or later and I feel like that window is closing here we have the star card reversed and the eight of swords and so it's like hope is kind of lost here you know and um, it could just be that <sighs> Could just be going back into past circumstances allowing and reliving this tower moment over and over and over but without really being able to rebuild anything fully it's like you're operating off the same type of blueprint and um it's almost like two cherubs here it's kind of funny um and not really being able to give oneself up to love and to and, and to enjoyment it's 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 a lot of stuff kind of kind of I'm feeling like gatekeepy kind of a cult there's a lot of stuff hidden there's a lot of mystery um, that that is being held on to and almost kind of used as almost kind of weaponized in a way uh, it's like a defense system a defense mechanism right um, so let's pull a couple of Oracle cards to round this out Okay, life unveils her holy face. I'm pulling one on the bottom. Open your heart into the body of love, into the body of life. All right, let's see. I feel like there's some type of, you gotta mature. You're not, like someone's acting really from a place of immaturity, not really showing up as themselves, playing some type of game, and they're just gonna be disappointed again and again. Um, cause something, you know, it's just repeating some type of cycle, but then blaming the other person. Um, cause there's this type of, you know, there's this image of self that's really being held onto and kind of defended because there's so much invested into it. And, um, it's not really serving you and it's not really offering you the type of connection, um, the type of, um, exchange that you're hoping to receive here. Uh, okay. So life unveils her holy face. And beauty is not a need, but an ecstasy. It is not a mouth thirsting, nor an empty hand stretched forth, but rather a heart inflamed and a soul enchanted. It is not the image you would see, nor the song you would hear, but rather an image you see through your closed eye. 
though you close your eyes. Okay, sorry. But rather an image you see, though you close your eyes, and a song you hear, though you shut your ears. It is not the sap within the furrowed bark, nor a wing attached to a claw, but rather a garden forever in bloom and a flock of angels forever in flight. There is openness, giving. You know, detaching oneself from the material. Uh, you know, removing um, the, the senses that keep you embedded within um, a, a space of, of, of surface, you know, what, of what doesn't matter. Um, okay. so. Open your heart into the body of life. You would know the secret of death, but how shall you find it unless you seek it in the heart of life? The owl whose night-bound eyes are blind unto the day cannot unveil the mystery of light. If you would indeed behold the spirit of death, open your heart wide unto the body of life. For life and death are one, even as the river and sea are one. So it's like you're, you you got to move on with your life. There's something that you've been holding on to, and it's been playing out and playing out and playing out, and you're trying to get it right and to try it, trying to hold on to all of these things. And the thing is, like, the, you know, your life is trying to shake these things off of you. You know, it's trying to show you you can do, you can do, you, it'll still be there. It'll just be different. And um, if you're really attached to the way things are, then get ready to, you know, perpetuate the cycle, um, you know, to, to live in this repetitive motion and emotion. So that's what I have for you. Um, I hope this resonated with you. If it did, consider donating. Um, if you'd like further clarity to go a little bit deeper, book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Links are down below in the description box. And until next time, bye.